Greetings to the Geno Pets community. Season one is here and we have so many new and exciting things to share with you all. Let's dive in. Fresh augment styles and parts are coming. 15 new styles comprising 135 unique combinations of family class and variant. We're also introducing style set bonuses, which we'll dig more into in just a second. Here you can see the Aviana and Jurassic style sets featured. Five new palette and color combinations are being offered for cosmetics across our existing AdSynth, SubSynth, and Loom crystals. HP stat modifiers will also be introduced, the last of the four primary base stats to be supported via augment modifiers. In order to keep things clean and consistent, and frankly, simplified in the face of so many new releases, we've decided to go with the more familiar percentage-based modifiers that players will have seen from the preseason. Not every Season 1 Augment will be part of a style set, but they're worth checking out all the same since they'll be distinct from their predecessors in more than just aesthetics. Here we have an example of a craftable drop from Season 1, a superior rare version of my ears that grant a speed boost, currently the only family of ears that boost that particular stat. As mentioned before, style sets are combinations of Augments which all share the same aesthetic style. In this case, Jurassic is the name of the style. Once assembled and equipped, they grant a special additional bonus to the pet. And here's a look at what the style set bonuses will be for this season's featured sets. Completing that Jurassic set grants you a 15% boost to speed, perfect for the upcoming step battles competitive feature, while Aviana and Cetacea have their own unique set of uh, bonuses as well. Energy boosts will now be craftable, a long-awaited item that's finally hitting the recipe book. Activate one of these bad boys, and you're going to receive a boost to steps to energy conversion for the 15 minutes following the activation. Perfect for a day you plan to spend in, on your feet. Now, the discount period is ending, so crafting prices are changing for certain items. AdSynth and Loom Crystals will have their current key requirement increased, while reagents will have their key requirement decreased to 25 key. Upgrading your AdSynth into a subsynth of the same color will now cost one gene in addition to 25 key. That's what's uh, listed under subsynth selected. Now, subsynth random is a new recipe based on a proposal we received from the community. We took it into consideration and decided to implement it. The subsynth random crystal recipe at 25 key and zero gene will allow the player to craft a subsynth crystal of a random color from the available color palettes for that season without requiring an AdSynth crystal. And then finally, we have the introductory price for energy boosts as well. Season one launches on Friday, July 21st. So here we go.